Ben's Leftovers. Mmm. <laughs> That's right, it's Leftovers. This is where I read the jokes that we didn't use this week. And as always, it is my first time reading these. So if they suck, you get to kill a writer. <laughs> Here we go. On Monday, superstar QB, that's uh, short for quarterback cat, Aaron Rodgers was traded by the Green Bay Packers to the New York Jets. Rodgers says he looks forward to spending more time with his family during the playoffs. <laughs> Sports joke. Legendary TV host Jerry Springer passed away on Thursday. A small service will be held for family, close friends, strippers, dwarves, skinheads, and baby mamas. <laughs> In an interview, Steven Spielberg says he regrets editing E.T. to remove guns from policemen's hands. In his defense, Spielberg said E.T. was way ahead on transgender issues. <laughs> True. <laughs> According to astrobiologists, space tourists will need to sign legal waivers banning them from having sex while in space. Disappointing travelers who assume the voyage would include a little tang. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, on Monday, CNN parted ways with Don Lemon, who complained. Yeah, that was the big news. <laughs> who complained they didn't reach out to him before he was terminated. Adding, if they wanted to keep the news quiet, they could have aired it during his show. <laughs> uh, a new analysis of census data shows that Gen Z women are identifying as bisexual in record numbers, making for complicated first dates since no one knows how to pay for dinner. <laughs> Kentucky Congressman James Comer has accused the Biden family of running an influence peddling scheme, which is news to anyone who's seen Joe Biden's peddling. <laughs> That's cute. I screwed it up. All right. I'll take it. Speculation is rampant that Hunter Biden is living at the White House. Sources were tipped off after a janitor was overheard saying, I haven't cleaned up this much evidence since Bill Clinton left. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more disgusting. <laughs> I was hoping for it. During a Florida campaign stop, former President Trump handed out pizza and asked, does anybody want a piece that I've eaten? <laughs> it's the surest sign yet that he wants Chris Christie for VP. <laughs> Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm said this week she wants all U.S. military vehicles to be electric by 2030. <laughs> the hardest part will be finding extension cords for the tanks. <laughs> That's not how they work. New details have emerged about last week's explosion of the SpaceX rocket. Apparently, engineers tried to prevent it from prematurely exploding by telling it to think about baseball. Oh, yeah, yeah. The U.S. Embassy in Sudan has been evacuated, making it the fourth embassy around the world to have been evacuated under President Biden. Wow, this guy's good, said one expert. <laughs> And finally, those are my two favorite words. <laughs> President Biden had words of encouragement for Americans still trapped in Sudan, saying, how hard is it to get out of a four-door car? <laughs> that was good.